Hello, my name is Joseph Sharon, and I'd like to speak with you about uh, uh, masterpieces from the uh, Qing Dynasty and the Ming Dynasty. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you some examples that the auction houses sold and show you examples from my collection. And uh, This, this particular piece sought to be sold in Hong Kong for 7 10 2010 for approximately $18 million. And it's seven and a quarter inches tall. And this, this piece here from my collection is a magnificent Femel rose vase. It's just exquisitely done, and the colors are just beautiful and very, very refined, beautiful colors. And the way this is painted is painted very, very detailed. Everything is very detailed, and uh, the the shading on the flowers and the leaves is just exquisitely done, and the the branch is just beautifully done, and it's it's it shows it's far superior to. What you see in your everyday pieces from China. This piece is just a fabulous masterpiece. And this is the one they sold for $18 million. And uh, this is my piece. And on the bottom of this piece, it's marked. And the mark always lines up. The top of the mark always lines up with the main part of the decorations on Chen Long pieces always lines up so that's one thing to look for when looking at a Chen Lung piece an imperial piece and uh, this is just a magnificent piece it has a poem on the back and you can go to my website and see this piece close up in a photograph because I know the camera's not going to pick it up that all that well but uh, Go to my website and see that piece. And there's another piece here, uh, another uh, Chen Long piece that was sold by Sotheby's in Hong Kong for approximately eight eight million dollars, four seven two thousand fifteen, seventeen inches tall. Nice piece, but it doesn't it doesn't even compare to this particular piece. This is a, a uh, uh, magnificent who form vase that is just exquisite. Uh, it has Islamic influence to this piece. You can see by the, the, the tile on the, on the, uh, around the the rim and and the base here it almost looks like Islamic tile so they had a little bit of influence during the uh, Chen Long period for a couple of years the uh, Islamic influence so they did some pieces like that but uh, this is just an exquisite work of art it's many of the strokes tens of thousands of strokes on this piece and uh, many of the strokes are so fine, they're thinner than a hair. And uh, it's, it's a, a female rose piece. And you can see the, the, uh, the, the colors of the rose on the flowers. And it's just piece that is very, 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 very well done. 
it's so detailed and when you see a masterpiece they they just jump jump out at you you can't can't miss them because they're they're just exquisite and that's from the Chenlong period now I'm going to show you something else from the uh, 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 Yong Zhen period. Christie sold this piece here. It's a uh, uh, vase that sold for approximately four million dollars, seven and eighth inches tall, uh, 11 28 2012. It's a Falenkai vase, and the Falenkai wares were made in the Forbidden City. Uh, and the Emperor was very closely controlled what went out and what they did to, to produce these wares, these Falenkai wares. They were used in, imported uh, enamels and. Uh, the, the enamels, they're very beautiful colors with, with the enamels that they used. And uh, here's another uh, Falenkai piece here. It sold for a million eight hundred, approximately eight hundred thousand, four inches in diameter, eight, eight, ten, uh, uh, 2013. Uh, And both of these pieces are Falenkai wares. And I'm going to show you some a pair of vases of mine that are Falenkai pieces. And uh, these are absolutely exquisite vases. They are just magnificent. And what is so amazing, the little birds in here, they they look if you look under a loop they it took about a thousand strokes to produce each one of these uh, birds and uh, they're so magnificently done and they have the poem on the back and with the uh, young Zhen wears often the Mark will line up with the poem on the back when they have poems on the back, and these two, these, this pair of uh, vases is probably the finest pair of Falenkai vases in the world that has been published now, and uh, without a doubt, there's nothing that compares to these this pair of vases and they're the Yongzhen Falenkai vases. I, I, I only tried to, to copy pieces that brought a lot of money in from the auction houses the most expensive pieces that they had. And this was a bowl. They, this was a bowl. It's not comparable to the bowl I'm going to show you, but uh, it brought a million dollars, approximately a million dollars. It's three and seven inch inches diameter, very small little bowl. Uh, four, uh, four or five. Uh, uh, 2017 and it's a little little ball but I'm going to show you this this ball here this is a uh, a Chenlong bowl and uh, this 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 bowl this black mirror bowl is incised and it has tens of thousands of strokes uh, where they incised it, where the artist incised this piece, and they're very, 
there's thinner than a hair. They had to use a pinpoint, a very, very thin pinpoint to incise this piece. And then they they uh, uh, rubbed in the the gold into the piece, into the incised piece, and it came up with that decoration. I've never seen anything published that looks even close to this, and this is just a perfectly formed, beautifully uh, done piece. I mean, it's just exquisite. The, the, the workmanship in this piece is just mind-blowing. When you see this piece in person, it's just a mind-blowing piece. And the same thing with this, the Chen Long mark uh, lines up with the main part of the decoration. And it's a landscape decoration on it. And you can see this piece at uh, my website and see a close-up of it but you this piece is just indescribable this uh, black mirrored uh, bowl is just you, you wonder how it was possible to do it but they did it they did it and they did it beautifully I want to show you one, one other uh, Chen Long piece. Now this piece, most collectors know of this piece. This sold for seventy million dollars at uh, Brain Bainbridge Auctions in London, 12 11, 2010. Beautiful piece. A lot of detail to it. Seventy million dollars. I'm going to show you something that's even finer than that piece, in my opinion. This is the finest piece of porcelain published that I know of, and this piece is uh, it's done on several levels. It has it, uh, they did a lot of uh, scrofato on this piece and the, the uh, female rose colored uh, buds here but they this was done on a blue ground and then they with a pinpoint they uh, incised this whole piece this whole ground and then covered with gold and uh, it has two panels and the panels, the birds are just done so magnificently and uh, everything about it is, is just exquisite. This piece is stands on its own. There's nothing to compare this piece in the whole world that I've seen. And uh, uh, it's done on several levels of uh, decorations. And the same thing with this piece. The main decoration lines up with the, the main, uh, uh, with the top of the, uh, the, the mark lines up with the main decoration. This is a Chen Long piece, and uh, uh, I challenge anybody to show me a better piece, a more finer, more beautiful piece. And all these pieces are for sale with the right numbers. But uh, I just wanted to show you these. Now I'm going to show you uh, another piece here that is sold. This is a uh, Swan Day piece that sold in uh, Sotheby's in Hong Kong, 4 5 2017, 9 inches uh, in diameter, approximately $29 million. And uh, beautiful piece, beautiful piece. But I also have a bowl here. It's uh, about 11 to 3 quarters inch. 
and this this bowl is so finely done it's like an eggshell and this is a Swinday bowl and it's just a magnificent magnificent piece and uh, I put it on a comparable to this piece here this is so neatly done and beautifully done and uh, it's trimmed in gold. They trimmed this piece in gold, and it's just a, a wonderful, wonderful bowl. And uh, it rings like a bell. It's so exquisite and so fine. And that's a wonderful bowl and I'm going to show you something uh, show you a dish that was done they sold, sought to be sold this dish uh, for two million four hundred thousand I don't have the date on it but it was after 2010 nine nine and seven eighths inches nice piece two million three hundred and ninety two thousand change uh, and I'll show you an exquisite piece here this piece here is conf uh, confronting uh, uh, Phoenix and this is a uh, Swan Day piece, and this is a magnificent piece, and it's just beautifully done, very neatly done. The finer pieces were neatly done. They they weren't sloppy at all. You know they they uh, they did very nice, uh, neat strokes and, and stuff for the finest pieces and you can see the base here and the mark see the uh, swan day mark and it's a magnificent magnificent dish And that's a uh, also trimmed in gold. And I'm going to show you uh, some Chenwa pieces. Chenwa, in my opinion, the, the finest pieces came from the Chenwa period, the blue and white period, period, even finer than this one day. Uh, the glazes are just exquisite. They're very, very uh, just beautiful glazes. Beautiful glazes. Where the Swan Day glazes are are a little bit uh, shiny, more shiny. These are very, very refined glazes on these pieces. But. Uh, I'll show you a couple of Swan Day or uh, Chenwa pieces that they sold. Now these palace bowls, they're they're nice. I mean they they are beautiful pieces. One brought seven million dollars, approximately seven million dollars. This one here brought approximately seven million dollars, and eight ten two thousand fourteen, and. Another one here brought uh, 18 million dollars. These are only these are less than six inches in diameter. They're very small pieces, and uh, 18 million dollars. But it's a very very fine refined piece. I'm going to show you uh, my jar. This little jar here, this uh, lion jar. 
with Buddhist symbols. Now this this piece is this may be the finest Chenwa piece published. I believe it is the finest Chenwa piece published. And uh, it's so exquisitely done. And there's nothing, nothing that uh, I can't compare it with anything uh, in this, uh, you know, uh, that's been published. And it has the mark on the base here, the Chenwa mark. And it, and it shows uh, a little bit of uh, rippling uh, in the uh, glaze on the base because they were high fire kilns. And uh, doesn't get any better than this in Chen Ma wares. It's so beautifully done. Uh, it's, uh, it's one of those pieces you say, how could they have done this? It's so magnificent. And uh, they did it. Then they, there's a couple, here's a couple Chenwa vases. One Sotheby's in Hong Kong, 4-8-2011, sold for almost $3 million. It's not even marked. Uh, uh, 15 inches tall, 15 and 3 eighths inches tall. And here's another one. This sold for approximately five and a half million dollars. Ten inches tall. Not even marked. And this sold in Hong Kong at Sotheby's. 8-10-2010. Now I'll show you. The Chinwa vase is probably the most beautiful vase in the world. Uh... Chen Ma with A's in the world and this piece is absolutely exquisite you can see these pieces on my website and uh, this piece is uh, marked on the shoulder here Chen Ma mark they all used the uh, all these blue and whites used the Somali blue cobalt, and the Chen Wa wears used the Somali blue mixed with the uh, pitang, uh, and it came. They, they they these pieces are so refined and so beautiful. And that's the Chenwa pieces from the Ming Dynasty. So these pieces here were were uh, were done uh, uh, these are all imperial pieces. All these pieces I showed you, all imperial pieces all, all done in the, in the uh, for the court and the, and the emperor and uh, and uh, I think that about does it what I wanted to show you uh, you can go to my website and you can see these pieces close up uh, with uh, uh, high definition f uh, photos where you can see some of the detail on these pieces and uh, appreciate them even better uh, and I'd like to thank you for watching this video and uh, good luck collecting <laughs>